Hello, I'm Emma Hammett from First Aid for Pets. And today I'm going to talk to you about what you can do and how you can help your pet if they are unfortunately hit by a car or a motorbike or they're injured on the road in some way. So unfortunately, it is all too common for dogs and cats to get hit um, if they venture out into the road. Um, and it's really important that you know how to help them and that you can get there as, as quickly as you can and you can do the right thing for them. So a couple of things, if you're a motorist, um, if you hit a dog, it's really important that um, you've, you've got a legal obligation to stop and to report it. However, cats and foxes are not covered by that law. Um, it goes back to whether or not the animal that is hit is potentially a working animal and dogs are classed as working animals. So there are campaigners um, at the moment trying to campaign and, um, and, and change this for cats so that you, know, you are legally obliged to stop and to notify um, the authorities and to try and tell the cat's owner that what's happened. So it's obviously a nice a much nicer way of, of handling everything if you are able to stop and if you are able to, to locate the owner um, and you know accidents happen but you know that cat is a very precious pet for someone. So um, if there has been an accident and the pet is um, in the road uh, you will need to remove them from the road and you know it's likely that their spine could have been injured um, so if they are alive, um, if they are unconscious, um, or if they are just you know, injured, um, you need to get something and a, a, like a, a stiff parcel shelf or something as a stretcher um, to remove them from the road and ideally pop them into your car so you can take them to the vet. Um, if they are unconscious um, and breathing, it's important to um, open their airway a little bit and just make sure that they remain and, and keep breathing. So make sure they're in a, a pet recovery position and we've got information on that um, on, our, on our site. We've got real comprehensive articles on this um, on how to help a dog or a cat who's been hit by a car on our blog post as well. So um, the important thing is, you know, are they conscious or unconscious? Are they breathing or not breathing? And obviously you've got the option of CPR. Um, if they're unconscious and not breathing. Be aware that they could well have um, a head or spinal injury. They could well have internal injuries as well. And they do need to get taken to the vet as soon as possible. Now give the vet a call, give the most local vet a call, and they will advise you what to do for immediate first aid if it's not obvious to you, and how to get them um, to you quickly, uh, to them quickly. Um, don't give them anything to the pet anything to eat or drink um, unless it's a really hot day and they look like they are dehydrated and the, the vet advises you that it is okay to do so. Um, but the key and most important thing is to get them in the recovery position, their bottom slightly raised if you think they're going into shock and get them to the vet for secondary emergency treatment as quickly as possible. Um, there is more information about a top to tail check and be aware as well that an injured pet is likely to be in pain and even if it's your most precious dog or cat, it may, they may well bite you. So just be aware that that is a possibility. I hope that's been helpful. There's many more resources on this on our site. That's Emma Hammett from First Day for Pets.